Hello everyone, welcome to Female Cooks and Eats. Today I have no recipe here for you. This is just a vlog of my Florida vacation. We went back in January and it was a lot of fun. I wanted to share this uh, vlog with you. I hope you like it. Stay tuned. We landed at the Fort Lauderdale Airport in Florida after a full day of traveling um, from DC to Florida. It is a very short flight, but due to airline issues as usual, it became a long, long travel day for us. But we finally made it to our beautiful Airbnb house. The house was very spacious, had a beautiful kitchen and a large swimming pool in the backyard. It was right on the water. I did make a video on this house to provide information to all of you if you wanted to book this for your next trip to Florida. I will link that video in the description box. Being right on the water was great for us. We saw a lot of boats and cruise ships pass by. My son definitely had a great time and so did we. The next morning we decided to head out to uh, get some groceries, some milk, eggs, bread and some snacks for the kids. After we got groceries, we made breakfast, I made some scrambled eggs, some chai of course, and uh, the owner was really nice. He left some juices for us in the fridge and he also brought us some croissants and some baked goods, so it all turned out to be a great breakfast for us. On this gorgeous morning, we decided to spend some time by the pool. My son loves swimming, so he definitely had a great time. And my little one also had a great time soaking in the sun. Later on, we decided to head out uh, to the beach. This is Lauderdale by the sea. It was only five minutes from where we were staying. The boardwalk at Lauderdale by the sea has some great restaurant choices. It's also very family oriented. It's great. It's a great place to hang out with the kids. The beaches here in Fort Lauderdale are cleaner and also more family oriented than the ones in Miami. So if you are taking a trip with kids and you wanted something that is more appropriate for families, do check out Fort Lauderdale. I love shells and I love collecting them. Whenever I go to the beach, I take a walk all by myself and I try to look for any shells that I can find which are not broken and they're in good shape. I use them as a decor in my house and I also do arts and crafts with them. Woo! There's another one. There's another one. Don't get that towel wet, boy. There's another one! 
<laughs> on me. Oh. Oh. Where are you guys from? My son and I have a big sweet tooth, so first we stopped at a bakery, picked up some tarts and pastries, but then we saw this vibrant and very cool ice cream shop, which we had to stop by. This ice cream shop is called Sloan's and it's right on Lauderdale by the sea boardwalk. They have some very delicious ice cream flavors and a lot of them too. Do check them out. The coffee bean. We spent some more time on the boardwalk and also picked up some pizza and enjoyed it on the beach for dinner. We woke up the next morning and I always woke up a little bit earlier than everyone else just to check out that gorgeous sunrise and listen to those birds chirping. After breakfast, we planned a Miami trip. It was only a 30 minute drive. We wanted to go to the Zoological Wildlife Foundation. My son loves animals and he's always been amazed by ligers, which are a combination of lions and tigers. You cannot find them everywhere in America, but we were lucky enough to find them in Florida at the ZWF. The general admission to ZWF for adults is $85 and for kids it is $45. It is totally worth it. They spent two hours, about two hours, uh, giving you a tour on each animal. They give you a lot of information. America. They are a tiny monkey, however, they do have the largest brain to head ratio, meaning if they were our size, their brains would be bigger than ours. So in the wild, they can live in. You're welcome. Bali. Now, she does look like a tiger, however, she's only 75% tiger and 25% liger. Oh, last liger, yeah. Liger, sorry. And this is because her mother was a liger and her father was a tiger, so when they spread, they produce is that a liger? Orange one, the tiger. I like the white one. I got a liger bird. Lichers are found throughout Southeast Asia, and they are extremely um, elusive creatures. They. they Jaguar right there and onyx is this black jaguar. So contrary to popular belief, no. there is no such thing as a black panther. These guys are found throughout um, you know that. South you know. America. <laughs> Separated is because uh, when they when they mate they can be aggressive. So we try to prevent that aggressive by balancing these time in there with Liger. Yeah, exactly. He's a bit different from Mbali, the Thai Liger earlier. Yusuf, so, how do you feel? Uh, uh, this is the Liger yeah, you've been waiting for. And and for so your whole life, how gigantic. do you feel? So they have a gene called gigantism, which leads them to become twice as big as the normal Thai Liger. Yusuf, over here. So because of this genetic trait, they are not. You see the kids? Yeah. Whoa! Yusuf, Yusuf, watch! Yusuf, watch! Ow! Ow! 
After exploring the ZWF, we also got to interact with the, the reptiles like iguanas and even snakes like cobras and pythons. Tours. <laughs> 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 he did get a bad reputation, but then okay, Tom, you're gonna put your other arm out too, so he can kind of use that as support. It's okay. He's just gonna smell, okay? Oh, that one. Ooh. Don't be scared. It's okay. This rose out is good. Just good. What did you? But you told me something else. It was. Good, good. You said it was the world's best. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed part one of my Florida vacation vlog. Stay tuned. We are going to Miami downtown in part two. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.